Well, hi, YouTube family. Uh, I've been in communication with a lot of you, and I think we're all going through, um, again, a little rapturitis. Um, you know, the Lord has preserved me from this. I'm really not troubled by it. Ezekiel is, and a lot of people, other people are. And uh, the only reason I'm not troubled by it is because he's given me a grace not to be troubled. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'd be in a mess too. But uh, it's difficult, you know, for people who are walk watching and waiting for the Lord. And he hasn't come yet. And here we are just before Christmas. And uh, there was a message that he gave me in September that I did not share with you. And I think it's pretty important, so I want to share it now. I think it still holds true as well. So the Lord was, uh, was present to me when I came into prayer. And the title of this message is, Work as if there were no tomorrow. And it was given on 9-19-14. Lord, I want to say something real to you, not the fluffy quips floating through my mind. I'm waiting, he said. I'm a sinner. That's true. But also you are forgiven, so stop beating yourself up. It's really hard to speak to a bride who's put herself through the ringer. Calm down, my love. Calm down. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Will you help me? Do camels live in the desert? You're so playful tonight, Lord, and I'm so apprehensive. Listening to YouTubes again, huh? Well, you sent them. Many I did, that's correct. Would you like me to tell you what's about to happen? Oh, Lord, I'd rather hear it from you. The the rapture's not ready yet. Oh, mixed emotions. Look at that. He was looking at me and watching all the things I was going through. <laughs> I was perplexed and disappointed, but I thought I'd be happy. Who can figure a woman out? Certainly not her own self. It's not ready, Claire, because it's only now that people are finally taking my prophets seriously. And as they step forward in faith, I come to meet them with all the graces they need to bring in the lost and the broken. So you do have time. Don't waste it. You'll be terribly sorry if you do. I've longed to clarify this for you because I see your consternation and grief. You can't operate from that basis. You have to be joyful to get this work done. I know how important it is to you as it is to me. Nonetheless, do not neglect prayer or good deeds. Work alongside them. As time comes closer, I will let you both know. I and my Father are one and the same. We hope for a great fruit and harvest. And I can tell you now by glancing at the earth, she is not ready, but she will be. You can count on that. So much depends on the free will of the people. As I see the seriousness with which they are going about my business, I extend mercy. Your prayers for mercy. More time, more grace, more mercy, Lord. They do get heard. It is not set in concrete. Nonetheless, my plans, my timetables are inscrutable. Much is yet lacking in the character of my pride. That is why I have commissioned you to do what you are doing. And as you prepare your lessons for her, you will prepare yourself, because you are not ready either. Not that anyone in this life can be perfect, but there is still room for gigantic improvement. Don't be daunted by the prospect of much work. In the end, you will see it was so worth it. Let me continue to look upon you and smile over your faithfulness. Tell my people the very same thing. If the master knew the day and the hour the thief was coming, he would have kept watch. What I am telling you all is that it is the day and the hour. So stay busy, be about my father's business, and at the time you do not expect, I will take you. He kissed my forehead. 
I love you so tenderly, my bride. Just do what I've set before you, and the time will pass swiftly, too swiftly. But I can tell you this. You will be satisfied that you have done everything in your power to fulfill the mission you were sent to earth to accomplish. This I can assure you of. You will be satisfied and take a deep breath. Then I asked him, should I hone my skill on the piano? And he answered, do what is urgently before you. Listen very carefully to my spirit and then do whatever he tells you to do. But Lord, I get confused over this. That's because you're not listening very carefully. Are you going to tell me I'm wrong? I could never do that. But you'd like to. I can see it in your eyes. (laughs) Can't hide anything from him. It's that argumentative bent you are squeezing out of me, Lord. (laughs) Indeed it is. Claire, this is the bottom line. Work as if there were no tomorrow. And at some point you are going to feel a great peace come over you. That will be a sign to you that you've done all in your power. When you feel that... The rapture is indeed only moments away. I want to take a moment here and say, um, work as if there were no tomorrow. That was back on, in September the 19th, and here we are in December the 19th, and he is still, every single day, pushing us to get messages out and to get teachings out and to work as if there were no tomorrow. He is all over us to stay busy. And we've never been this busy in our lives. And um, so that gives you some idea, at least, that he is definitely asking us day by day to stay very, very busy. Moving on, I thought to myself, when he says moments, I take it to mean his kind of moments, not ours. (laughs) Well, it's fruitless to try and figure that one out. But the fact that he's very serious and very seriously keeping us working almost nonstop, guys. I mean, we don't have time for anything. He doesn't give us any any extra time unless it has, has to do with a funeral or some act of charity that needs to be taken care of. So um, I guess my advice to you to pass it on is keep watching, but work really hard at what he's given you to do, and especially works of charity, feeding the poor, clothing the poor, um, visiting at the hospital or at the prison, taking people somewhere. There's just so many things that you can do, and you ask the Holy Spirit to help you be aware of the needs of the people around you. And just stay busy, knowing that any minute he could look in on you and say, okay, it's time. And you were working, and that's wonderful. <laughs> now into your, enter into your master's joy. So um, God bless you, YouTube family, and hopefully I'll have some more things to share with you really soon.